2 out of 24, or 1 twelfth of the way to the end. And those are probably the easier puzzles. I haven't yet mentioned the horse and human paintings on the walls in here. Now I have. Last time we took one step to the left. Now we can make it all the way to the almost stop sign door. And this side of the well is also kind of dark. That looks like Jupiter. I get a really bad feeling about that puzzle. Oh, you know what that is. I don't want to get lost. Um, let's go to Jupiter. wasn't the puzzle. And I'm pretty sure I almost cut myself. Okay, this looks more puzzle-like and less dangerous. Okay, two seeds, or I think those are seeds in every bowl. Um, what's going on here? The rumor is the goal of each seed. If your last move ends there, you may select again at will. Pick up where you left off, but never end in an empty bowl. Plan your moves so there will always be more to make until the Ruma finally holds all. He was surprisingly clear. Clearer than he usually is. But the best way to play with the puzzle is to play with the puzzle, so... Okay, so we move by two. I can't pick up here. Okay, pick up where you left off. We have to pick up at the bowl we landed in. So as long as we don't end up in an empty bowl, we should be absolutely fine. You have no more moves you may take. The goal of all the seed is the Ruma, the bowl on the far right. I'm assuming it's the bowl on the far right. It is the biggest bowl. And we sow seeds from left to right, picking up and scattering them. It's a rather simple self-explanatory puzzle, but there's a few things that I need to go over on the chalkboard, no matter how useless drawing on the chalkboard is for this puzzle. This is really quick. We're not going to solve this puzzle on a chalkboard. We're going to solve it at the actual puzzle. I'm doing this just to do a quick illustration of a single, actually rather simple concept that just makes it easier. In the end, how we're going to approach this puzzle is to think very short term. What gets us to the room without getting us into an empty bowl? Pick one and then keep going. Let's try not to actually grab from the Roma because then we'd be making negative progress. Will that 100% lead to a solution? I don't know. <laughs> but it's the simplest thing to do in the beginning, so might as well try it. Instead of looking very far ahead at multiple moves, just look short term and if it's a problem, we reset the puzzle. The one thing I just wanted to point out was since we're going to be doing a lot of this in our brains, being like, okay, if I pick here, is it going to screw up? Is it going to get into the Ruma? We're going to want to count the seeds and be like, okay, then there's three here, then there's one here, then there's etc. There is one thing that we can do that makes it a little bit easier. If we pick up a couple seeds, we're sowing them from left to right, and we wrap around. If 
we pass the Roma. We can also think of movement as going right to left as well, if, if in that particular case it would be simpler. Let me give an example. Let's say that there are actually four seats in this bowl. One way to figure out where you're going to end up is to count. One, two, three, four. Another way you can think of it is that instead of going right by four, you're going left by one. And the reason why is because there's five bowls in total. And moving to the right by four is the same as moving to the left by the total number of bowls minus how far you're moving to the right. This, this is going to be one to the left, so Mo this technically is modular arithmetic and it's not as simple as this. I'm getting away with it like this because there's only a total of eight seeds and it's unlikely we're going to have more than five at any one time in a bowl. And I really don't feel like getting into the rest of everything else. It's not really relevant to this puzzle. It's just, it's a simpler way of thinking about it. Think you end up here. Just remember that you sowed seeds um, all the way in all the other bowls proceeding to this one. With that in mind, all we have to do is say, okay, whatever bowl I'm choosing from, let me use whichever counting scheme is easier for me. Should I count to the right by a certain amount or should I count to the left by a certain amount? Um, so we can just mentally follow the path a little bit easier. And that's pretty much it. Let's go back to the puzzle and actually solve it. We're very lucky. We only have one option we can possibly take in the very beginning. I numbered the bowls 1, 2, 3, 4 from left to right. Bowl number 3 is our only option. All the other bowls will land in another bowl of 2, which will loop back around to the bowl we chose all from the beginning, which would have nothing in it. Bowl number 3 takes us directly into the Ruma. Now that we've hit the Ruma, we can choose anew whatever bowl we want. But if we choose bowl number 1, we'll just land into bowl number 3, which is empty. Can't do that one. Bowl number two will land us into bowl number four. Then we'll take the new four seeds and go back to bowl number three. There'll be two seeds in bowl number three at this point take us into the room. Or we can choose from bowl number four, which will take us into bowl number two, which will then take us into the room. Remember, we're taking three from here, and we're moving to bowl number two, but we put one seed into bowl number two. So we're not gonna almost hit the room and miss, we're gonna actually hit the room with that extra seed. Let's look at what we can't do. We can't do bowl number one, because then we'll land in bowl number four with two seeds overshoot back into bowl number one, that's empty. We can't do bowl number four, because if we do that, we kill our chances with bowl number three, and we kill our chances with bowl number one. So, Bowl number three is the only one we can use. If we do that, we move into bowl number four. We pass the room, but we hit bowl number one, and four seeds is enough to go all the way from the left directly into the room, and we've sown one seed in each bowl. All right, we've made it this far. Change gears. Originally, we're just trying to get into the room. Now, there's so few seeds that we should be able to think ahead a lot more moves and just make sure we don't end up in a bad state. Remember, we don't want to grab from the room because we don't want to make negative progress. Bowl number four will go straight in. That's good. Bowl number three would overshoot. That's bad. Bowl number two would make it in, but if we chose bowl number two, bowl number four would have two seeds in it, and then we couldn't make it into the room and we'd end up in an empty bowl. So, bowl number four is our only choice at this moment. Okay, it doesn't look like we're in a bad state. If we choose bowl number two, that will give us two seeds for bowl number three, and then we can run to the room. And then we'll, all we have to do is grab from bowl number four and we're done. Wait, let's take a break. There was a choice we made a while ago before we knew far enough ahead the solution. What if we made a different choice? We chose bowl number four before. What if instead of choosing bowl number four, we chose bowl number two? Bowl number two will still get us into the room. Remember, we get four there. Taking the four there brings us to the bowl right before it. Bowl number three. 
and we have our two seeds to go straight into the aroma. Now where are we? We can't choose bowl number one because then that would hit bowl number four and then we'd overshoot the aroma to a dead end. Bowl number three is out of the picture completely and if we choose bowl number, sorry, bowl number two is out of the picture completely and if we choose bowl number four there's nothing we can do. We end up in the aroma, but then bowls number one and two are both gone. All we can choose is the aroma, and that doesn't even work. So we can't even use the aroma even if we wanted to. In general, we don't want to. We don't want to make negative progress. So that actually does not lead to a solution. Let's go back to our happy solution <laughs> and get us that jewelry there. Okay, that was an interesting puzzle. This was one of the first puzzles we've done where we didn't solve it at a chalk, where we solved it right there. There really aren't that many states. This puzzle really just kind of guides you to a proper solution as long as you think not too far ahead. There's really only one place in the entire puzzle where it's kind of hard to see that you'll put yourself in an unwinnable situation. And even then, there's not too many moves to get back to a, to get back to a state where you can play the puzzle again and get to that. So this, it's really, it really is a simple puzzle. It's nice, a nice, calm take back from the crazy, 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 crazy insanity that I procured previously. Okay. Now, I never turn around and look at this door. That's the door we came through. So apparently that is the exit door from every puzzle simultaneously. It must be quantum. Right. There's the altar. And we have our third jewel. The tasks resolved so far marked here are three. <laughs> 